y'all there's just so much things going on um i'm gonna quickly make this video because there's just so much things i want to talk about and just so much in my you know there's just a lot of things that i want to discuss but i want to briefly discuss this um love like this video song and music video y'all know me if y'all are my day ones on this channel y'all know that i am a huge zay malik fan and at this point, I, I might as well call me a fortune teller because I genuinely wanted Zayn to come out in 2023. And now he's here. He's going to be releasing music, the album. Great. I love him as a fan. I'm not a stan. You know, I don't kiss no celebrities' asses. If they're my faves and they do something stupid or if there's something I don't like or if I'm like not feeling their content, I'm going to point it out. If, if the content is good, I'm going to point it out. That's just me. That's just who I am and that sort of thing. Let me just say this. I'm sorry. And I knew, and I, and I could kind of tell from the snippet and everything. Y'all, I'm not feeling the song. I'm not feeling the song. I, and I already, I already said it at nauseum. I, I did it in my call her daddy review, um, video that I did on my channel. You guys can go watch that. Um, I already spoke on this. I was like, listen, like it's giving me very much so generic, very much so microwave, microwavable music. And it seems like this might be Zayn's Taylor Swift's reputation era kind of vibe here because the reputation album was not good to me personally it's just my opinion and this is the kind of vibe I'm kind of I'm, I feel like this is going to be his reputation era like that's what it's giving me so I, I don't like the song I listened to the song today I was just like you know what I was thinking to myself when I was listening to the song I was like this song is going to be playing in Marshall's this song is going to be playing in H&M. This song is going to be playing in Forever 21. This song is going to be playing in Rainbow. That That's what it's going to be playing. Like, because I, I don't, I don't, I don't see us really bopping this in our cars like that. I'm sorry, y'all. No, this is not the song. No, ma'am. I don't know who. And I don't, here's the thing, too. I don't even see the song trending. Like, I, I went on YouTube. I don't see it trending anywhere. I went on Twitter. Nothing. Like, Maybe the hardcore fans, the hardcore stands, yes. But, like, I don't really see the girls really talking about this song like that. So this song, and it's no, and I love Zayn. I love him down. I think his voice is the, the one of the best vocalists that we have. But I think this song is going to flop. It's not going to flop in the department stores, in the clothing stores, no. Yeah, we'll be playing, you know, ad nauseum. Because they like, the, you know, in these, you know, H&M Forever 21, you know, they like that, you know, generic kind of music. They like that stuff. So it's like I wouldn't be surprised if this song is playing in the in the clothing department stores. But if we're talking about in the if we're talking about in our cars when we when we're going outside, there's barbecues, people playing playing songs and stuff like that. This is not the song that people are gonna be playing. The streets are not gonna be bumping this the way they were dead the way that they were bumping Pillow Talk and the way that they were bumping Dust Till Dawn. You know, even to this day, I'm still bumping Nobody's Listening album. I'm still bumping those songs from that album because I think that that album is such an underrated project. So. I don't know this this era of Zayn. He needs to fix it. He needs to fix it because I'm not feeling the song. I'm not feeling the song. The music video was cute in a way. It kind of gave me like futuristic. Um, one last time. You guys remember one last time Ariana Grande's music video? <laughs> I don't know why when I was watching it, I kind of got like, oh, like oh, this is kind of like futuristic. One last time, I need to be the one who take me home. You know what I mean? Like, go watch it and go, go watch this music video. You'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, the music video was cute. He was cute, kissing a cute little girly girly in there. But other than that, I'm like, it's, this song is forgettable. Very definitely, this song is forgettable. And the music video is forgettable. So, um, ex exit, 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 exit. Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry, y'all. So, but yeah, that's it. That's all. Um, that's all I have to say about Zayn. I want to talk about Doja Cat. They're dragging Doja Cat on Twitter, y'all. They're dragging the ever living shit out of Doja Cat. And honestly, y'all already know how I feel about Doja Cat. I personally feel like, I, I, and you know, so far, I've been kind of really separating the artist, the, like, the person from the art when it comes to Doja Cat specifically, because Doja Cat has been problematic in the past. You know what I mean? She has done things that is because she, she's such a weirdo that's the thing like doja cat is such a weirdo like she and someone said it on twitter she says they said that doja cat gives like incel adjacent 
You know what I mean? Like, that's exactly what Doja Cat gives us. Doja Cat gives, like, I'm going to be aiding and abetting the white supremacists sometimes. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. Because she's such a weirdo. She's such a weirdo. But, I, you know, the music, you know, I'll bump, the, I'll bump her little, you know, cosplaying music. I, I, I will bump that because it's the only music that we have out right now. But her as a personality, her as a person, she's just, she's too, you know... So they're dragging her on Twitter because they're exposing her, this new boyfriend, this, you know, this milk dud boyfriend that she has here. Um, they're saying that he allegedly was sexually assaulting people and, and, and is a racist and stuff like that. And right now she's just blocking people on Twitter because of it. And honestly, this is honestly up Doja Cat's alley. Can, like, can we keep it a stack? Like, can we be honest? This is up Doja Cat's alley. Okay. She likes, she likes, if you guys remember the tiny chat thing that happened a few years ago where she was on there telling the white boys to be calling her the N word and that sort of thing. Like this is up her alley. This is the kind of, this is the kind of energy that she likes. She likes this kind of stuff. In a way, I think that she, she definitely gets off on it and she finds it as a kink. So I'm not surprised that they're, that she's with an incel, that she's with a racist, alleged racist and alleged sexually assaulter into minors, allegedly. This up her alley. This is what she likes. This is what she gets off on. And honestly, at this point, I, I what people really need to be telling Doja Cat right now is that this broad needs help. She needs help. She needs to go find her roots, you know, her Caucasian roots, her South African roots. Go touch some grass. Go find out who she is. Like, I mean, this is who she is right now. But, like, they really need to go to her to fight. Like, you know, to really, really get within her ancestral era. You know what I mean? Because I knew that that... That's why I don't like the song Woman. Because I know that Woman was just a... She was cosplaying in that song, too. Because she don't, she really don't... She, she's really not about this Afrocentric stuff. Girl, bye. Like, don't you kind of know exactly what she's doing? And she got that guy's stream, um, stream. I mean, then again, <laughs> I also streamed Planet Her. I can't lie to it because Planet Her, you know, they got some songs in there that was about. But, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. But don't you care is a weirdo, though. So, yeah, they're dragging her on Twitter. You guys can go on Twitter. Her name is trending. They're really going off on her because she really, really, they're saying that this guy, this guy that she's with right here, he, he be in the minors DMs. He be saying all kinds of racist stuff. And she's just blocking the people. So, and honestly, I saw that attention is kind of flopping on Billboard. So, yeah, I don't know how this era is going to be be for Doja Cat. Because if Doja Cat don't get her shit together, it seems like her fans are willing to cancel her, cancel her if she doesn't walk the fine line. So, but yeah, that's just my thoughts on that. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how you guys feel about the Zayn Malik song. How you guys feel about this whole Doja Cat thing? Because I'm not surprised because she is a weirdo. Like, she, she's always been a weirdo. Like, incel adjacent. Yes, that's exactly what she is. So, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.